Hi, this is Thomas, and I will talk about Banner Contraction Principle in this video. I really like this theorem because it shows you that you can approximate a solution to a certain problem just by doing an iterative process. And it also has applications in other branches such as numerical analysis, analysis and OEEs. So it's probably my favorite theorem so far. Here's what the theorem says. Suppose we are given the complete metric space xd, meaning every Cauchy sequence converges, and a function on its space. If there exists a non negative theta less than 1 such that for every x and y in x, the distance between fx and fy is less than or equal to the theta times the distance between x and y, then there exists a unique fixed point x star is equal to f of, f of x star. And the uniqueness is rather easy to show, so I will just prove the existence in this video. Okay, now let's prove this. We first construct a sequence by this rule x k plus 1 is equal to f of x k. Then we notice that the distance between two consecutive terms xk plus 1 and xk is equal to d of f of xk, f of xk minus 1. And this is less than or equal to, by our hypothesis, theta times d of xk, xk minus 1. And now we do the same thing to this term right here. We'll get it's less than or equal to theta squared times xk minus 1 and xk minus 2. And now we do this over and over again. Eventually, we'll get is less than or equal to theta to k times dx1 x0. Next, we're going to show that the sequence we constructed is Cauchy, which is equivalent to showing that d of xm and xn goes to 0 as m and n goes to infinity. And assuming m squared at the end, d of xm and xn is less than the sum of the distances of the consecutive terms between xm and xn by triangle inequality. And this thing, since they are all consecutive terms, but I'm pulling a factor out, we can show that it's less than or equal to theta to the n times dx1 x0 times theta to the n minus n minus 1 plus all the way to plus 1. And this thing right here is less than the geometric series which, whose formula is given by 1 over 1 minus theta. And so this whole thing is less than theta to the n times dx1 x0 over 1 minus theta. And this term here is a constant, and this term goes to 0. And so dxm and xn goes to 0, and this sequence is Cauchy. Since Cauchy, it converges to a point x star in x. Finally, we're going to show that the limit point is the fixed point we want. To do that, we we'll first notice xn plus 1 converges to x star. On the other hand, xn plus 1 is equal to f of xn, which converges to f of x star by continuity of f implied by this hypothesis. One can check it directly through a definition of continuity. And therefore, x star is equal to f of x star. We have proven the existence.